Today is pretty exciting. We're getting a new goat for the farm. Eris and I are on our way to trade our buckling Romeo for another buck. I didn't shoot any video of it, but uh, I was when I was carrying Romeo to the truck, he was just crying all the way. It was pretty sad. Goats just don't like being alone, and I was bringing him all by himself into the cage here in the back of the truck. It's what's best for our herd. Um, both of us, the person I'm trading the goat with, and us, we both need to refresh the genetics of our herd. So this is this is what we're doing. All right, so this will be our new goat. And Naomi Hello. here is gonna be the new custodian of, Ro of Romeo. Does he look like a good goat to you? He does. Good. He's very shaky right now. Yeah, he's, he's nervous, shaky. he's nervous. Claire doesn't know what's going on. Well, this is the first time we've traded goats, so first for us. First for us. Yeah. yeah. Hi, buddy. Yeah, it's all right, it's all right. Good job. All right. Okay. Yeah, he's got some nice markings. He goes straight to the food. Yeah. Pretty blue eyes and everything. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Hey, bud. Come on, this way. Okay, get a feel for the surroundings. What do you think? Come on, Trooper, you stay in there. Trooper! Okay. We're not putting the new buck in with our other bucks yet. We want to finish the fencing for their pen first, so they have a little bit more room to spread out and figure out some territorial things that way, rather than confine them all in a really tight space. Generally, it's a good idea when you get a new goat to segregate them for a while anyways, just to make sure there's no illnesses that will spread to the rest of the herd. We've got the new buck in with Stormtrooper, our weather. Stormtrooper is usually a pretty good buddy for any goat. And uh, they've got food and water in there. They'll be just fine. Uh, ideally, we wouldn't have them in the same structure as the does because the buck smell may affect the milk quality. Um, I'm not sure about that, but I think that could happen. So yeah, a new goat on the farm. That new goat isn't the only new animal that we're gonna be getting around here. We've also got some hatching eggs. They're gonna be blue Australorp chickens. Should be good egg producers. The incubation time is 21 days, so we do have a little while to wait for these guys. Speaking of new animals for the farm, 
We've seen some small snakes out here, but I just recently found this, much bigger, the shed skin of a snake. I have no idea what kind of snake it is. If anybody out there does, please leave a comment and let us know. It's been several days and I thought I'd do a quick update. Stormtrooper here is a world-class escape artist. An amazing jumper. He can get out of these stalls if he really wants to and evidently he didn't like hanging out with Finnick. Wanted to be with all the other goats. So we're having a hard time keeping Stormtrooper in with our goat, our new goat. Fortunately, Finnick here is a pretty cool cucumber. He, uh, he's a pretty quiet goat. Seems to have a pretty sweet disposition. He's doing pretty well, even when he's in here by himself. But we, we really do want to have him with another goat, just, just so he's a little more, uh, just a little happier. We want our goats to be happy. Hey, Maple. You want to hang out with Finnick? No, you're too little. You're too little. All right, I've wrangled Stormtrooper back in with Finnick. And I'm just going to hang out here with the camera for a little bit to see if he doesn't jump the fence while I've got the camera. I haven't been able to... I've actually seen him do it once. Wendy's seen him do it a couple times. It's amazing. I mean, this is a... This is a tall fence. The goats should not be able to get over this thing. Getting ready to try it. Oh, he's thinking about it. Here he goes. You can make it, Trooper. Get a running start. It's not that high for you. Are you not doing it because I'm watching? Huh? I know you want to jump it. You bad goat. Yes. Look at that sweet little bad goat. Even as a baby, this goat was a handful. I'll have to throw in some clips of... See, I think that video was called Baby Goat Needs a Better Goat Jail or something. It, it's pretty cute. Stormtrooper, there's not enough room for you to get past Sienna. Thank you. 
Oops. <laughs> stuck on your horns. Yeah, and then you would choke and die. Sienna, don't. <laughs> don't chew on that. We're gonna have to take it down now, and you will have no light. Yeah, I'm not coming to let you out. <laughs> Bad girl. No, you can't get underneath. You can't get underneath. That doesn't work. It doesn't work. You're not going to fit underneath. Almost that time. Almost. <laughs> Success! The super goat. The super goat. Nothing can contain this goat. It's a super goat. Okay. For the record, this fence is just over five, just over five feet tall. And that goat just jumped it. Storm Trooper really likes being with his familiar herd. <laughs> Indigo is now Finnick's new roommate. We don't know if she's in heat, but even if she does get bred by Finnick, that's not a bad thing. Thanks for watching. Remember, your dreams are closer than the moon. Thanks for taking this trip around the moon with us.